I got like half a bag of Gardettos. Mm -hmm. Which I was threatening to eat during the movie last night. Hello. Hey, how's it going? It's going. Yeah, cool. Well, well, uh, Scradrick and I are in the session. Be there. Awesome. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Oh, man. He doesn't get disoriented and sweary like I do. No, he, he really, like, he rolls with the punches. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, mm. like, I have seen him take things in stride that, like, no man ever should. <laughs> Times were tough, <laughs> so I sold my soul. Seven woke up early for you. You better fucking care. It's Star Trek Picard. I'm Shaggy B, and with me is Draco Funk. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, sort of awake is Scrodrick. Oh no, I'm staying up late, and I have sleeping pills. I'm gonna take here when we start the episode. So that way I plan. can sleep before I go to work again for 12 hours tonight. <laughs> so, all right. Well, you know, it's it's just we 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 do these things because we care. Um, I guess. Yeah, I mean, when I can't drink, sleeping pills, man. You know? Yeah, I hear you. Uh, <laughs> post what drugs you're on in the comments. Um, don't, please don't. Uh, but yeah, it's Star Trek Picard season two, episode two. Uh, the uh, uh, it's called Penance, which I looked up because I started making the slide for it already. Um, and Draco Funk's going to tell us all about it. Uh, oh yeah, I'm like sitting here at time dot is just watching the second. <laughs> <laughs> been doing that for like two minutes it's 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 just after eight o'clock in the morning on a saturday for uh for everybody who's who's wondering and uh and we were and vomit and i recorded a four drink minimum last night i didn't i didn't drink but still you know was up late but anyway yep march 10th 2022 that's the day that that's this the day out. this came out has nine days I ago has an imdb rating of 8.4 that's the same as episode one Yes. Although has episode one changed? No. Okay, good. I mean, they were both 8.5 at one point. Now they're 8.4. Oh, okay. Mm. Somebody must have noticed a, uh, you know, something in the background shifting positions for different camera angles or something. Ah, uh, there was a cup of coffee in a shot somewhere. Nah, instead of tea. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody took a drink of coffee. Man, I want some coffee. That sound good. <clears throat> well, anyway, we're watching this on uh, Paramount Plus. Yes. Not CBS All Access or anything else. No, so, I'm watching this on uh, Scrod Revision. I don't yeah. know. It's <laughs> it's new. You wouldn't you wouldn't get it. Um, yeah, it's only available. But, yeah. It's exclusively available to, to subscribers to the to our Patreon. Uh, yes, yes. Good luck with that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> if you can figure out how to sign up for your Patreon, yeah. Well, you'll be getting a, a video file of me in the Luchador mask doing some things. So, uh, <laughs> so yeah, we're watching this on the uh, the streaming service of your choice that has this. Which you know, it could be uh, what what is this on Netflix? Overseas, I the, don't know. Season one was on Netflix in Canada. Okay, I, think. I don't know. But anyhow, open this up on whatever place you've managed to find it, and then pause the video file, and then rewind it to the beginning. And then you, we'll give you a five second countdown. Holy shit! Five, four, three, two, one, go, <laughs> and you'll be synced up with us probably. <laughs> It'll I'm be tired, amazing. Damn it! <laughs> I'm tired for different reasons. Yeah. Uh, Damn all right, this guy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> Taco Bell. Yes. All Taco right. Taco Bell in the AM. That's right. You know, it's it's not it's not so bad. I've had I've had Taco Bell breakfast a few times in my day. Yeah, you know, I wanted something different. Yeah, I have diarrhea it. in the morning. It's great. <laughs> I had I had an apple, and I'm I'm comfortable from Taco with that Bell. Toast. No, actually, <laughs> uh, a Fiesta apple. <laughs> yes, it's, it's full of meat. <laughs> <laughs> That's, so, like an apple that's been partially hollowed out and just filled with Taco Bell taco uh, meat, and then put uh, back together. And put back together. No, it's been genetically modified. That's right. Grow beef cells inside well, the skin. <laughs> well, it's it's Taco Bell, so it'd have to be stuffed with Doritos, also. You know, <laughs> Doritos, taco meat, sour cream, cheese inside, and an apple. You heard it here, folks. Go f*** <laughs> yourself. The meal. <laughs> All right, let's watch some Star Trek. Someday, some next time we hang out together, I'm going to make one of those for you. Oh. <laughs> be like, hey, do you want this apple? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh. Oh. Shit. I accidentally started the episode. No, 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 we should start no, it together. Countdown. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, all right, this is Star Trek Picard season two, episode two, Penance, and we're starting it together in five, four, three, two, one, go. Hey, don't skip the recap or the intro because we're not going to. Previously, at some weird Starfleet Academy. Huh. Kind of makes sense that Seven would just like take up this mantle of like helping strangers, I guess. She's pretty. She's she's pretty cut out for to be a mercenary. I kind of like this idea of civilian com badges. Mm -hmm. I was about to ask if Scrider could see in episode one, but I remembered he was there with us. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think I have. Yeah, you were there. <laughs> oh, yeah. <clears throat> My mother was Borg? Well, I guess it makes sense since he's an android now. I I can't believe we're in the mirror universe. I'm not sure it's the mirror universe. I mean it I don't know looks it like it. We'll find out soon. I mean, Next Gen was the only series that didn't go to the mirror universe, I think. Voyager? I, Voyager didn't, I guess. They just went to that weird history museum. Ooh, Hexagon Earth. Yeah. Planetary shields? Yeah, I guess so. No, they're, they're, it's hero clicks, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that old school replicator there. God damn it. <laughs> That's very much like Q to say something to piss you off, so... You know. True, yeah. <laughs> it is hero clicks. 
Bullshit. Also, yes. What the hell does that mean? <laughs> I only learned that from Cisco. <laughs> yep. It was the Torture Patrick Stewart show. <laughs> and they made an android that can bleed. I mean... Oh, sh**. <laughs> Good point. It's pretty easy, pretty easy to sit on top of a high horse and tell everybody the ground's covered in shit. It's the mirror universe. Does it say darker than the mirror universe, mirror universe? Hmm. God, Vash Dagger. <laughs> wow. Oh, Ooh. no. Jim Hadar skull. Yeah, Cardassian skull. Interesting. Mm. Confederation. <laughs> Ooh.
So is this like a mirror queue? for turning down that Romulan chick last night. No, you may not have. That's not good. Don't say that. <laughs> They'll f***ing kill you. Yeah, really. This isn't the place to admit weakness, I wouldn't say. Uh, he doesn't know that, though. He's never been here. Oh, uh, don't skip the intro. Don't skip the intro. Click, yeah. Click, click. I guess I was right that uh, about the theme song being Mirror Universe. I did. Uh, I said that last episode. So I, don't I, know, guess... I kind of think this is a Mirror Universe, not the Mirror Universe. You know? I, I don't know yet. I mean, I'm not sure which one I want either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, like, by the point of Deep Space Nine... Well, the Rebels know, the... had... You know, they they reformed and well, and all the people that that he talked about being killed would have been killed Deep after Space that. Nine people too, yeah, and they were after that point in Deep Space Nine, so mm. like they would have died after that. So maybe Picard, like you know, maybe Mirror Picard, like like rallied the 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 people that were left and actually you know kicked ass. You know who prob who I'd be really afraid of is Mirror Janeway. <laughs> God, I only sent that picture from Reddit to you, uh, Shaggy B. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> have to find that. <laughs> Do you remember the Worship Voyager episode? Yes, I was just thinking that, actually, yeah. World Razor, Stargazer, I get it. Ouch. <laughs> the chair from the Enterprise E, isn't it?
<laughs> and he's an old hat at dealing with mirror universes. Just find the person that you kind of trust and tell them what's going on and they'll solve it. That's how this <laughs> works, Picard. <laughs> That's how it worked for all good things. Ah, uh, so Laris was killed. <laughs> Vacation day. Oh. Lighting weird? Oh, no. Okay. I was like, is the lighting weird or is she purple? <laughs> Why can't it be both? And So is this regular seven? No, it's Annika. What? <laughs> oh uh she has a uniform like every other president Wife who never talks to me that way. Yeah, but the droid heard her say Federation. Yep. Just slaughtering Vulcans by the million.
the genius of Q's, you know, manipulations on these things is that he dumps people into these situations and then makes all the people around him way more tolerant of like incompetence for like the first couple hours than they should be. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, imagine like, you know, any reasonable person who noticed their leader acting like this would immediately have them like, you know, checked for like a stroke. Uh-huh. <laughs> Especially Picard. Yeah, really. <laughs> well, I mm, I don't know if I guess if he has a synthetic body, they'd be like, "What the hell?" Be yeah, right. <laughs> I would I would imagine that, you know, other androids could tell that he's an android pretty easily. You know, like you know, his breathing is probably on some sort of like really mathematical rhythm and stuff like that. Well, hell, that's how Data figured out that his mother was an android. Remember that next gen episode where he's like, her blinks aren't actually random, you know? Day over Vulcan. <laughs> that should have been the title of the episode. <laughs> F- the fleet. <laughs> 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 okay, we're you're doing fine. You guys take care of it. I gotta go. Bye. What the president needs? Whoa. Shit. And it's right now that it occurs to me how much more realistic simulations of skyscrapers being destroyed looks after nine eleven. Oh, hey. It's him. <laughs> I know you won't. Well... <laughs> This is kind of what I expect Okinawa to actually be like in the future. Uh, They're Rafi. Gotta be Rafi. Yep. Thought she was gonna blow the barrels. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the first time a man's touched me in 30 years. On the Excelsior? Yeah, she was on the Excelsior, remember? Oh, right. They both were, yeah. That's where he got assigned. Oh, right. Shoot the guards in the back. <laughs> yep. Commercial break. Wee. Back. Ooh.
you know, this is exactly the relationship that I think everybody ever always expected out of Seven of Nine. The heels, the uniform, the dominatrix stuff, you know. <laughs> Is that Patton Oswald's voice? That's Patton Oswald as an anime cat. <laughs> <laughs> that is yeah <laughs> this guy's gonna like murder seven Uh, uh, Gonna be a CG Leonard anyway. Oh no, it's uh -oh. Borg Queen. Um, ah. Uh. Uh. Just let her out in the room, you know. Just, just absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Work in this universe use psychological warfare. Again. Ha <laughs> 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 
Hmm. Off kilter nations. (laughs) (laughs) Picard with his ammo belt. So this is vaguely inspired by a Peter David novel. Q squared. And Q squared. Yeah. I'm trying to remember it. Like, I kind of wonder if we're going to see like, you know, multiple iterations of people in the same place. Mm. Commercial break. We we're back. Woo. Yeah, (laughs) take charge. (laughs) I want to see Mary Universe Wesley. (laughs) Too, actually. <laughs> Shut up, prisoner. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the heels are pretty graceful. Go go into a room, maybe. Nah, he's, he's finally gone. Ugh. <laughs> oh yeah, the thing that Q f***s with. Uh... We all do. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, Romulan absolute candor yeah, doesn't I, understand sarcasm. He took some acting classes in season one. That's good. Uh, 
I actually blinked as that was coming out of warp. <laughs> hmm. I wonder what this the <laughs> I wonder what the effect was. <laughs> It's kind of convenient. Touch all the women. That's a music quote from First Contact. Uh huh. Nicely done. Was, thought I had sunk into the ocean. It's going to be Guinan, isn't it? It's the only person we know in Los Angeles. It's Guinan. Oh man, are they going to do a slingshot? A next gen slingshot? I want to see that. Uh huh. Oh, sh. <laughs> <laughs> Seems pretty cruel for Q, not going to lie. Plus the what now? <laughs> And we tried after you murdered that guy in my fucking ship, but you're still here. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't the president have got him like, you know, a bigger warship? And now Stasis Fields. <laughs> you got it. 
complicated. Oh no. Time to make a speech. First break, we're back. Woo. We're bringing it back. Eradication. Flips him the bird and transports off stage. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> Big E Langston. Is that, is that Big E? Kill, kill him. Just, just kill him. <laughs> well <laughs> Natural 20, Persuasion. <laughs> Just vomit right now. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time. Wait, is that a giant statue of Brent Spiner? <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> yes, it fucking is. <laughs> <laughs> oh gee, this looks familiar. Very encounter at Farpoint. Ouch. <laughs> that that stings, my fellow Confederates. Now. Okay, got a Dremel there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Some gooseneck lighting. Oh, hey. Bubble gum. <laughs> Building a new com badge. Toothpicks. Yeah. <laughs> Colorful metaphors.
Hmm. Okay, I'm looking it up. That's got to be Big E. <laughs> Pick his ass. I dare you. What the... what I expect out of Mirror Universe guards. Like, is she going to need to turn around and be like, no, no, I wanted you to fight them. <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So this board, this is the one you want me to kill? Somebody hand me a knife! <laughs> I, I forgot for my I knife! I forgot my, no really, I forgot my knife! <laughs> this is a gun! And just make a big long speech about guns, <laughs> how great they are. Now this garden was given to me by <laughs> Yeah. Uh All right, Captain Hologram. <laughs> nice. Was that a combat knife? You just slit a guy's throat. <laughs> Lots of things happening here. Pretty good. Gonna start assimilating the crowd. (laughs) (laughs) 
<laughs> Get the board queen. There we go. Uh, never a theme I thought to you know hear while the board queen is right there. I know, right? You may want to get the hell out of there. Um, uh, warp drive to. To anywhere else? Oh, they gotta get her uh, hooked up to the computer. Please don't assimilate me. Yeah. Is, is somebody watching to make sure she doesn't assimilate her? I think that may be Agnes's job, which means it's a not good. Oh, I was expecting a warp entry there. It's okay, I'll just connect her to the thing. <laughs> Sweet, we're going to see a slingshot. Probably in the next episode, but you know. That's kind of terrifying. Ah, computer. I know how those work. Can't any of you fly a ship? <laughs> <laughs> You're going to ask the president to fly a starship? Nope. Uh, Agnes, kill him. <laughs> Into <Yep>. this, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I wish the first season would have started out like this. Yep, I saw Pat and Oswald on the the credits there. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I'm I'm into this. I really am. Um, I'm I'm not watching the uh, the end thing. Yeah, yeah, we'll thing. close that. Um, yeah, yeah. I um. Mm. Yeah, there's there's not much to criticize here. Like. Well, okay. I think um, I think they were a little too, you know, mysterious plots with Q at the beginning. Like they kind of overdo those little exposition things nowadays in TV. It's like it's it's like you can tell they're trying to pad time by having them just reiterate, "This is a dark and mysterious thing." Oh no! Tell me the dark and mysterious thing. I won't tell you the dark and mysterious thing, but it's a dark and mysterious thing. Like they kind of do that a little too much. Um, that's that's my biggest criticism, <laughs> which is not much. Uh, nine and a half, nine point five. Scroderick. Um. Yeah, I agree. Why not? Because uh, that held my attention the whole time. I am enjoying the plot. It yeah, seems like a continuation of Star Trek. It once. really does. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This so, this this fits. They they have managed to at least make it feel like we're in universe. Yeah, exactly. Where last season it it it, it I think it got there, but it there were Just, hints of it feeling not not real. Do you know what I mean? 
Yeah, last season barely got there. It was um, so so the the closest, and I've I've been thinking this lately. The closest thing I can think of to a to a a, a pair. Okay, so so Star Trek is a big enough franchise, right? That it's at this point anything you make in Star Trek is going to have a parallel, right? It's going to have something that's like, oh, this is like that other Star Trek thing in some way, you know? Mm-hmm. And that's that's not that's not a negative or a positive. It's just the fact that there's so much of it, you know, um, that it's going to end up like that. And in the first season, the closest thing that, that, that it reminds me of is The Ashes of Eden, which is a novel by William Shatner. <laughs> Um. Yeah. yeah, and a not a particularly good one, and B, well, you know, it's William Shatner, but um, B also not canon because novels aren't canon in Star Trek. So when that's the best you got going for you, it's pretty tenuous. This this feels like a lot of next gen episodes. Um, it makes good callbacks to. Every, I mean, they referenced. They, they they referenced things in this episode, which don't get me wrong, we want that. We want references and connections, but we don't want fanboys pointing at something and saying, "See, see, look, it's Spock. See, it's Spock. We put this other guy who doesn't look like Spock in ears, and now he's Spock. See, it's Spock. You remember Spock? It's Spock. We don't want that. We want a connection, right? And they're doing that. So yeah." <laughs> It's 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 just really good. That's like weird. I'm glad. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. Quit recasting original characters. Like yeah, you know we need to just move on. We do, and like this, you know, this is the same old characters, but the people are still around. They're not. CGing them to look young. They're not, you know, copying and pasting somebody's face onto a different body like they did in, you know, Boba Fett. Although, at least with that, I'm sort of okay with it since we were robbed of like a decent Luke Skywalker. <laughs> yeah. Like I was really disappointed with sequel trilogy Luke Skywalker. Right. So mm. <laughs> <laughs> if they use that technology and adapt, um, Oh geez, what was it? The Thrawn trilogy that would be great, All right? I, oh, I, I, I really I wish they could do the Th- Thrawn trilogy. Like I don't even care if it looks wonky. Like just give me that. That would be amazing. Mm-hmm. Everybody wants them to redo the Thrawn trilogy. The Thrawn trilogy is what we should have had instead of um, yeah <laughs> seven eight nine. That would have been a better seven eight nine. Yeah. I mean, really, the time period to bring it out would have been, what, around the time they did the prequels, though? That way the <laughs> actors would have been, like, young enough yet? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, <sighs> uh, yeah, like, I guess with Star Wars, I'm more okay with the de-aging to give us some quality time with characters that we didn't get. <laughs> yeah. But with this, like, just keep going down the road. We want to see how, how things are going, you know? <laughs> Yeah, it's yeah, like it, it makes a lot of sense. Like I, I like I like where are they now stories a lot more than I like Look, it's the thing you used to like, but you know, like like we, we can get the past back if we just if we just pry hard enough. Like, no, we can't. We can't. What you know, thirty years ago is done. We're all old now. And this is you know, this is this is good. I don't I don't like hackneyed you know like 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 attempts to grab nostalgia and deny the fact that time has continued. I don't like that. And this isn't that. So we're about to have five Star Trek series in current production. Cool. Hopefully they're all good. Well, I mean one of them's still going to be Discovery. <laughs> womp, womp. <laughs> womp, womp, womp. <sighs> it gets it got better after season one we we need to watch it yeah 
I just dread getting through the season season one. Yeah. <sighs> well, we've gotten through we've gotten through things. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we have. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, good, good night, night, everybody. Good night. <laughs>